আজকে আমি ইসলামের মসজিদে আমরা একটা ভিজুয়াল ওই যে প্রিন্সবি পার্কে যে অ্যাটাক হয়েছে মসজিদের বাইরে তারার সাথে সলিডারিটি লাগি এখানে আমরা জমাইছি প্লাস আমরা জানি যে রিসেন্টলি কয়েকটা টেরিস অ্যাটাক হয়েছে ওয়েস্টমিনস্টার লন্ডন ব্রিজ ম্যানচেস্টার আর এখন যেটা হয়েছে কত হালকের অ্যাটাক যেটা হয়েছে এটা মুসলমান যারা তারার আমরার উপরে আমরার দিকে টার্গেট করা হয়েছে সো আমরা কাজ করতে আসি যে পুলিশের সাপোর্ট দেওয়ার জরুরি আমরা গভর্নমেন্টে অনুরোধ করলাম তারা অনেক প্রেশার ইমার্জেন্সি সার্ভিস প্লাস এই যে রিলিজিয়াস ইনস্টিটিউশন সবাই সাপোর্ট দেওয়ার দরকার তারা সিকিউরিটি ইম্প্রুভ করার জন্য থ্যাংক ইউ সালামাইকুম সো ওয়ে স্ট্রিমিং লাইভ রাইট নাও on select to london we've got 200,000 followers all around uh, the world we're streaming live right now 242 people watching so you're the borough commander right so i'm the borough commander for tower hamlets which means i'm responsible for all the policing decisions within tower hamlets of course i do have access to central assets so um there will be central resources like armed police or dogs traffic um tsg they're the uh, territorial support group um they come and assist us on the borough but the local day-to-day -day police um decisions around policing are down to me. Okay, so I mean, obviously, uh, what reassurance can you give uh, to the public that uh, in regards to the safety of uh, mosques and so forth? So this is what I was talking about earlier, um, that I reassessed our policing response this morning and working with partners as to um, what the partners can offer as well. So when I, that mean partners, I mean like the local authority and also the mosques. So it's about policing yourselves, getting people who are wardens, who are properly trained, who can stand on the street and marshal people in and out of the mosque. And then that complements the additional patrols that I put on of police officers who deal with any incidents or any offences that might be, and also are there, there to protect public safety. So you're in charge of all the policing in Tower Hamlets Borough. I mean, can you reassure us that there's going to be extra patrols uh, around mosques? Yes, so that, that's exactly what I've done. I've put additional patrols out, um, particularly around the mosque, because we, to reassure the public and because of what happened last night. Um, I've had officers go, my neighbourhood officers have been into every mosque today. I have a faith officer who is, um, his role is to go into all the faith establishments on the borough, but he's been working with the mosques today because that's where he's needed. I mean, we did hear uh, uh, some words from John Biggs, the mayor of Tower Hamlets, what are you doing or what is the police what are the policing tower hamlets doing with the local council to reassure the public so this was um we put out some messages that you will have seen this morning so this is where we work together so we look at um what each partnership can bring to um helping keep the borough safe so we have enforcement officers on the borough so we've asked that they patrol near a mosque um we've got the rapid response team which is for youth work um, so they're working with young people in and around this community. Um, we've got the resident social landlords, um, so that's the housing association, so we work very closely with them. Um, we have um, a number of different community groups, faith groups that have uh, agreed to work with us to come out. Um, and, and that we have outreach workers as well that, um, that we work with in the community. Um, so we're all trying to work together as a partnership response. So you're working with the mosque as well? Absolutely. So, um, and not just East London Mosque, but um, most of the mosques on the borough we're, we're working really hard with. Um, East London Mosque is the biggest mosque um, on the borough uh, and does attract uh, quite a lot of attention. So we have been working with the management committee and we've just done some training today with some people in the mosque. Um, so that was my officers going in there to train people um, on what they need to do as a bit of a warden role. Um, to help police their own community. Obviously, as a borough commander, you're a very busy person, so I would like to thank you for giving us uh, time and giving us an interview. Uh, obviously, we're streaming live right now on Silet to London, so okay, on behalf bye. of Silet to London, thank you very much for giving us this uh, interview. Okay, thank you very much as well. <laughs> thank you for our community leaders and... Uh, Public generally coming together here in front of our mosque. We appreciate our Imam of Muslim Welfare House for his helping uh, people who turn against this attacker. So that we can come to the way that we should work in a way that we don't increase the problem. We should have a little wisdom.
because what's been provided is not good enough. You have to, at the moment, prove that you have faced hate crime as a religious institution before you qualify for funding. And my appeal to the government will be they need to look at this again because that doesn't deal with preventative action. <coughs> this mosque, this mosque didn't get support when they put in a bid. And they have had many attempts by preachers of hate to cause trouble here. So if they don't, I don't understand how this fund works. And I would like to see the Home, Home Secretary explain herself and improve that fund. It's welcome, but it needs to be available to all those institutions that desperately need the help. And I want to thank all of our communities who have come together and who have come together and who have come together from LMC and working with other institutions in this community to provide community support training so that we can provide security working closely with the police. Thank you so much. This is our great strength, being able to come together as a city, as, as the different communities that make the city so great. And here in the East End, We've seen of extremists of all in Finsbury Park. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. I'm going to live Okay, Councillor Sirajid is some deputy mayor outside East London Mosque, uh, standing in support with our brothers and sisters vigil in respect of the attack in Finsbury Park last night, the terror, terror attack. Terrorist attack. One person has lost their lives. There's about several more who are seriously, critically injured. We deplore any kind of terrorism, terrorist act. You know, this is not in our name, not in our city. We're Londoners, the British, we ask for calm from our young people. We need to do things so differently, we need to do things intellectually, we need to do things with our MPs and with our national politicians to make sure that the government is listening and responding because you know, this is not on. We cannot have terror attack after terror, regardless who the victims are. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, Ali MP John Biggs, uh, Councillor Sirajul Islam, Deputy Mayor.